So, Mr. Farrell, I'd like to begin with you because of your work in helping people overcome divides. Um, what is your vision for a world that works for all? How has that been changing? And how have your books impacted that? Yeah, I think, um, first of all, this has been wonderful tonight to be with you and to listen to all the great uh, thoughts. Um, I think uh, if I'm going to be instrumental in helping a world change, I can't do that unless I'm changing. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, I mean, I, I can get involved, and I do, and have in a lot of sort of world projects, but I walk in at the end of the day into my home, and my family doesn't care about that. They want to they, they wanna know, how am I in my family project? <laughs> mm -hmm. And a lot of times, maybe I'm not as good there as maybe I am in some of my other places. So without, and, and here's, that's, that's important, of course, uh, for, uh, for the people who are closest to us in our lives, but, but also in any projects we get involved in, it's my conviction that if, I, if I'm not in the middle of always working on that and sorting that issue out, namely, how am I a problem in ways that I'm not clear that I am, I'm going to be getting in the way of every movement I'm a part of. Um, in fact, I will be, in many cases, without realizing it, the very problem I think I'm trying to solve, and I'll, and I'll be creating resistance at every step, and I'll feel good about it mm -hmm. because I think I'm doing, I, if, I, I don't see my own trouble, and, I, and so I'll be convinced it's other people's problems. So I think, I think to go... Um, uh, Fred mentioned uh, go big. In my view, to go big, at least for me, it's important to think really small. Wow. Um, and because the go big changes happen because real change happens. Not just words, but real deep change happens right here. First of all, just a quick example. We, a colleague of mine was, was in the Middle East and he was staying at the home of, a, of a, one of our colleagues who's a facilitator, a Palestinian facilitator. And, and uh, about midnight, there's a knock on the door, and it's the mayor of this town. And he comes in, and he, he starts speaking in Arab, Arabic about all this problem he has. He, my, my, my colleague, he doesn't understand Arabic. So he didn't know what he was talking about. About five minutes into it, it the translation comes, and he's talking about a problem he has in his house with his wife. My wife doesn't right. trust me here. My wife doesn't trust me there. And, <laughs> and so he says, I don't know if anyone, anyone who's familiar in here with our work at Arbinger, we use this metaphor of the box. And so he... Um, so this mayor at the end, he says, so what do you think? Am I in the square? That's what he asked. <laughs> and, uh, and so my friend said, well, I don't know if you're in the square or not. That's not a question you should ever answer. Um, um, but I'll, I, I, I'll tell you about a time when I've been in the square, right? Uh, and um, he told a story. And they spent about three hours on the, on the rooftop mm -hmm. um, talking about life and relationships. And, um, and finally, this mayor says, OK, I want my whole village to get the square, he said. And then my, my colleague says, well, how'd you even hear about this? I've never met you. And he said, well, my daughter was playing basketball yesterday uh, at a practice. And we have one of the things we're involved in there is we're training a whole bunch of youth and their coaches and how to, about, about our work through sport. And she came back home, and she was teaching me about the square and saying, I think you're in the square toward mom, uh, dad. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So one little change that's real, that's heartfelt, it's not just a platitude that's deep, that sort of thing. It doesn't only add up. It's what lights us. We get lit by people who are, who are um, living life that way. So for me, that's the big thing about the change of the world, making a world that works for all. The question is, am I going to be someone who works for all? That's the real question. Mm -hmm.